sexless, cold and stiff. Oh. Oh. Hold on a minute. Whoa. It's not nice to put yourself down, is it, Craig? No. <laughs> it's Craig Revel Holwood! <laughs> 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 what a wonderful reunion. Oh, I think you weren't spiffle, but yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, oh. <laughs> Craig, Victoria, Victoria Craig. Nice Victoria. to meet you, my yes, darling. Yeah. I mean, we were just saying there what a fantastic summer it's been for the Olympians, the Paralympians. Don't tell me you've got it in your heart to put any of those down. Well, I can only be honest and truthful. I'm sure, as a sports person, you adore criticism. You know, well, so I'm going to be it. throwing That's it good. more their way because yeah. at least you won't get emotional. Although I have seen you cry one or two times. Oh, <laughs> but you're quite sensitive, Victoria, aren't you? Well, you know, when something means that much to you, you yeah. can't help it. You know, you put so much into it, so much emotion, there's so much, you know, time, sacrifice. It has to, you know, it comes from there. You yeah. can't do yeah. it otherwise. No. And I guess it might help you kind of returning back to normal life as kind of weirdly as, as the Strictly planet is. But that transition from, you know, all that I input that you've put into your cycling to actually, you know, commit to another competition. I hope so. In a different vein. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Which would be great. What is it about Strictly that appealed to you then? Because I'm sure you had loads of offers <laughs> after the Olympics. Well, it was just the idea of doing something completely different. I would love to be able to dance. I really would. Um, you know, and I find watching people dance, all kinds of dance, um, absolutely captivating. Like, I, I just think, wow, if only I could move like that. Um, yeah. So it's something that definitely appeals to me. Um, there's no expectation for me to be any good at it. I haven't spent my life training to be a dancer, but I'm going to give it 100% and see how far it takes me and, and yeah. just enjoy it. I was and say, the I'll glitter, give you a couple of weeks on that one. You know, the outfits. <laughs> yeah, lots of makeup. The makeup, the hair. It's totally <laughs> oh, different it's to lovely. what I'm used yeah. to. You will love it. You definitely will. Now, on Friday, we revealed Nikki Byrne from Westlife as the first name on the Strictly lineup. Yeah. It's now time to see who else Victoria will be up against on the dance floor. Yes, now to keep the names of the lineup a secret for as long as possible. Uh, the Strictly producers give each contestant a code name. Uh, so, uh, Jones. Yeah, it was Bridget Jones. And Baker. Cake. It was cake indeed. See? So here are the code names for the first four: Teddy, Bird, Robin, and Great. Here they are. Nicknamed Teddy, it's cuddly entertainment reporter Richard Arnold. Bird is CBBC's Tracy Beaker. Danny Harmer. Every Robin needs his Batman. It's former England cricket captain Michael Vaughan. Putting the great in Britain, it's Bird. Right, so, there you go. We would like to get your initial thoughts, your initial predictions. Who is going to burn up the dance floor? Who's going to leave you feeling... Stone cold. Yeah, and to be honest with you, you've only just found out yourself, haven't you, Craig? Yes. So, yeah. Well, literally one hour ago. Okay. okay. Well, here we go. We've got this this Craig ometer or Craig ometer. You've got the faces there as well. Uh, uh, so who's hot and who's not? Well, I think. Uh, do you want me to name and shame this person? Yes. 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 Why? We well, start as you make okay. One. Richard Arnold, darling. Yeah. I think he's going to be absolutely dreadful. So I'm going to pop oh, <laughs> straight down around the knees. <laughs> he's going down below. Then, of course. Um, <laughs> Well, it's only because of his campness, really, and the fact that he's ITV presenter. Right. Uh, <laughs> my next uh, little person is Danny Harmer, who is absolutely gorgeous. Now, she's attractive, young, gorgeous. I'm going to place her sort of somewhere up there. Okay, and the Chrissy good, Baker, good, the kids good. vote, maybe. Absolutely. And a bit, you know, stage schooling. Yeah. Absolutely. Michael Vaughan, of course, who we all know as a cricketer. Yep. Now, generally, Cricketers do quite well, they don't do. they? They in the do. Past. Yeah. 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 Cash. Indeed, mm -hmm. yeah. You Darren know, Goff as well. Absolutely, Darren Goff, who actually. And then Martin. I have Victoria. So where would you like to place Victoria? Well, as she sat next to me, <laughs> I better put her somewhere up here. <laughs> 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 what about? Should we put Nikki on as well? Oh yeah. Nikki yeah let's on the put way Nikki. In. I'm going to put Nikki here. All right. Because there's not a lot of room here. Oh. I think okay. he'll probably do a little bit better. I think he probably belongs in there somewhere. Right. Okay. okay. Are you quite surprised that there's no Paralympians in it this year? Well, yes, I am actually. Because you can, I mean, because you can. Do. You can. We, yeah, it was proved in America. Forum, yeah. You know, so um, maybe next year. You yeah. know, that's something to look forward to. Oh, well, yeah. I do have one other. Oh, God. And oh, that's Fern. Oh, but, right. Of course. She did the Christmas special. Actually, yeah, she did the Christmas special and she was very good. So I believe she's probably been in a bit of training. So I'm going to place her up. Oh, oh that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. She's taken an early lead. Ah. There's a few more to go throughout the programme. 
Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we know we want to get back, of course, to the 2012 reception. Um, so we will be glued on Saturday to find out who you're paired with. Any thoughts at this point? Do you know what? They are all so lovely. I hate to say it, but that all the dancers have been so wonderful. I'd yeah. be happy to dance with any of them. Who do you think? Do you think James? Well, I was thinking maybe James, but I think maybe Artem. Could be Robin. Anyway. Well, could be anyone. Who, do, who knows? Okay. Anyway, we'll Let's find out. Let's unveil the next four Strictly contestants. Yes, for those of you uh, who want to have a bit of a guess, the code names are Round, Princess, Sushi, and Life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here yeah. they are in the Strictly <laughs> Finery. <laughs> Thinking of a number for his dance score? It's me. Johnny Ball is Round. Stage princess, it's Kimberly Walsh. No one knows why he's nicknamed Sushi, it's Sid Owen. Living the life, Lisa Riley. Oh. Sushi, Sid Owen. Still don't know. I don't we've, get we've it. trying to work it out all afternoon. But OK, so you've been updating. I have, I've been Craig updating, Omiter. darling. Johnny Ball. Down here, Zoe Ball's uh, father. Indeed. Of course, so she's yeah. probably been giving him private lessons. Of course. I still don't think it's going to do him any good. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> not because he's 74 what? or anything, darling. Not because of her lessons, obviously. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, well, not because of her lessons. <laughs> That'll ruin him. Uh, at the top here, I place Kimberly Walsh. Do you think she'll win? I think she'll win. Okay. I've got her right oh. up the top. Okay. Only because uh, she's danced before. She's, you know, yeah. foxy, mm -hmm. she's hot. She I think she'll do very, very good. Choice, yeah. um, uh, Sid Owen, I have put right down the bottom. In fact, I might just flick him off. Um, <laughs> I've gone already! And uh, Lisa Riley here, I've put just above, of course, um, Richard. OK, good. I think she'll oh, good. be... I don't know. I think she might be our sort of... Dark possible horse. comedy moment. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a sort of Anne Whittacombe. Thing. We'll have to wait and see. Now, <laughs> also, <laughs> you're going to be joined as well by Darcy Bussell. I am. Oh, yes. I can't yes. wait, actually. I mean, prima ballerina, every single professional dancer looks up to her, Yeah. as I do. I mean, it was such a brilliant opportunity to get to dance with her, sort of ever so slightly there, which I absolutely loved. I think she's going to make a fantastic judge. Do you think she'll be tougher than you? I Well, I hope she doesn't try and, you know, Outdo That's me, darling. Thing, yeah. You know, yeah. this is the thing. It's very, it's highly competitive, darling, up there. It is. Yes. But, but um, I think she'd be really good. And, you know, what's, what's great about her is she's had a life of dance. And that, I think, is essential, you know, if you're going to be judging people as well. Mm. So um, I'm really, really pleased. And yeah. speaking of judging, you were judged earlier this year. You won, Maestro. I was, <laughs> indeed. I was a nervous wreck. But it's, I think, very, very important to take criticism. I think if you don't take criticism and you get all emotional about it, then uh, you're not you're not going to win the day. I mean, yeah. uh, you were very good at taking criticism. <gasps> uh, yeah. I can't but say you, that you, for you Alex. Didn't Alex Matt Matt Let's start no, again. You didn't call Matt sexless, though, did you? Or cold. No. Oh, cold. Uh, no, but I, uh, no, it wasn't that. That was no, only the dance. You know that. We made I'm going to break in here because we can't go on and on and on. I know. So you had Wembley and you had Blackpool, didn't you? Obviously. Oh, yeah, what's Yes, happening? that's what, right. What can we expect this time? Right? Well, we're doing Hollywood, which would be great fun. We're doing Wembley again, this time for Children in Need, which would be equally brilliant. And oh, we're yeah. trying to make it bigger, better, and brighter, mm -hmm. which I cannot wait for. Hopefully, I won't be flying again, but I have no idea what they have in store this year for me. Good. Good. Uh, but Which will the good final thing. be in Blackpool then? Or we no, don't know that. No, it, it won't. Be. Right, I think okay. we should get on with the, with the rest yes, of the Yes, let's see the final four. Yes, yeah, see if you can work out who they are from Codenames Manor. Captain. Wild. And Legal. Here we go. Queen of her manor, Jerry Hall. Captain of our Olympic gymnast, it's silver medalist Lewis Smith. Blonding his wild side for the dance floor, it's actor Colin Salmon. And legally blonde, it's Denise Van Alten. Ah, oh, she'll be brilliant. That's Denise it. Alton. What do you think, <laughs> Craig? Very well, quickly. final lineup. I've got um, Jerry Hall, of course. 
who I've placed down here. I think um, being on a catwalk is one thing, but dancing is entirely different. Scenario. Yeah, so middle table. Lewis, I thought, yeah. would be fabulous. Lewis Smith, who's a gymnast. Indeed. You're a gymnast. Yeah. You did very, very well. You danced brilliantly. I'm hoping that he will follow in your footsteps. Me he too. has rhythm, great body. <laughs> um, uh, Colin, who is here, who I can't seem to find room for, I'm just going to place there because I think he's unknown. I think he's a bit bondish. This is Colin Salmon, of course, who's an actor and he's been in um, Bond movies. Yes, yeah. that's right. Very sort of serious. So I'm hoping, like, uh, tango and stuff from him would be good. Denise Van Elton. Now, there is no place to put her, and yeah. that's why she's my wild card, darling. OK. So I'm going to sort of sling her there because there. she's theatrical, which I like. Great. And um, I think she's been on stage, so she should know a little yeah, something she'll be about great. Well, that's it. Wraps it off beautifully. Thank you ever so much, Craig. Good luck with it all. The series starts at BBC One this Saturday. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good